Hello YouTube, this is Goddard Radio Mosque here again with another beer review for you today. Now for this one I'm going to do yet another Scottish beer and this is a brewery that I really like doing the reviews for. Seb Jones, who's the owner of this one, is an alumni of the Aberdeen University Chemistry Department where I study so it's really cool to do, be doing a beer review from someone who's passed through the same programme as me if you like. And Seb was actually very kind and after I did the first review of this for the Randolph Sleep Lager and he came and donated one of each different type of beer for me to review so a big thank you to Seb for doing that and a big thank you as well for sort of supporting my channel and stuff so it's really cool but today we're going to have a look at the Speyside Craft Brewery's Bow Fiddle Blonde. Now this is the newest bottled beer that they've produced so far but there will be a stout apparently that will follow in the next little while. Seb didn't actually wasn't quite sure when I met him when he gave me the beers he wasn't quite sure how long it would take him to get it into the bottle so I'm not sure how long you'll be waiting for that but this is my fourth review from this brewery now actually and you'll find the links to the other videos in there in the video description so go and have a look at those if you are interested as is usual with my beer reviews I'll just take you through a sort of history of the brewery if you like this is a very new brewery they've just celebrated their first birthday and I'll also tell you a little bit about the local brew the local area where this beer comes from as well for the benefit of those of you watching outside of Scotland of course there but as I always say if you are simply just interested in the tasting of this beer then feel free to go on towards the latter part of the video and you will catch this particular segment but this is another relatively new Scottish brewery that's appeared with the sort of recent boom we've had in Scottish craft brewing as I mentioned they've only just celebrated their first birthday but they're from Forest in Speyside in the north of Scotland and this is a region very famous for its whiskey distilleries and it's actually located right in between the cities of Aberdeen and Inverness so just for the benefit of those of you watching outside of the country I always describe Scotland as looking a bit like a monster's head so just below the monster's nose if you like you have the city of Aberdeen the oil capital of Europe where I study of course as well and if you follow the coastline up and then go along the north coast there you'll come to a corner in the coastline like this and the city of Inverness the Highland capital is just located in there and if you go right in between these two cities you have the town of Elgin famous for its uh, the Church of the Holy Trinity very famous for the times of Robert the Bruce of course there but if you go to the next town along from this this is the town of Forest here and this is where the brewery is located there's actually a really beautiful train journey between these two cities there so if you're visiting from outside of Scotland definitely take the train from Aberdeen to Inverness or vice versa of course there but the, just as I said the region is very well known for its whiskey distilleries and it's actually becoming known Known as the food and drink capital of Scotland if you like so definitely go and check it out if you are visiting Scotland from outside but it's up to list some of the whiskey distilleries for you here there's Aberlour, Balvenie, Benriach, Benroma, Cardew, Crag and Moore, Dallas Dew, Glen Grant, Glen Moray, Glen Farclas, Glen Fiddich, Glen Livet, Macallan, Speyside Cooperage and Strath Isla but there's about 50 of these in total a very sort of uh, whiskey heavy region if you like but there's also a number of craft beer breweries that have popped up recently in the region as well there's the Winsor Brewery in Lossiemouth. There's the Cairngorm Brewery just down in uh, Aviemore there, which is of, of course the uh, sort of ski resort of Scotland, if you like. And you also have Brewmeister along in Keith, who are very well known for having held the world the title of World's Strongest Beer for quite a wee while now. They've produced the 65% Armageddon beer and also the 67.5% Snake Venom, and I think that's very unlikely to be beaten, of course. But obviously there are some other uh, craft breweries near Aberdeen and Inverness as well. There's some very good breweries in Scotland these days, actually. But to tell you a little bit more about this brewery itself. As I mentioned, this brewery was founded by Seb Jones, who is a former chemistry student of Aberdeen University. And he apparently had been brewing on and off with his dad since the age of 13, and they used to experiment with various different home brewing kits there. But this experimentation tailed off when Seb entered his senior years at high school, and he started playing music in several bands and stuff like that, but it was rekindled when he went through the chemistry programme at Aberdeen University. Now when choosing the location for his brewery, Seb opted for Moray as the location and received funding from the Moray Business Gateway, which is a publicly funded organisation that helps small businesses get off the ground. And he also received support from the Prince's Scottish Youth Trust, who gave him a loan to pay for his training in the brewing processes, which he did down at Sunderland in England at Brew Lab there. But Seb seems to have gone through various hurdles with different organisations to get the brewery off the ground. And he actually said to me when I met him that it was very difficult to get the sort of funding premises and equipment all to come together at the same time and it took him a while to choose the actual premises that he has just now and he needed investors to help him with this but he said that he really wasn't very short of people that were interested in this people that he spoke to were apparently always very enthusiastic about the idea of opening up a, a craft brewery within Speyside and he wasn't very he wasn't really short of any investment offers at all but it was just a case for him of choosing the right people to invest in his brewery but if you go onto the brewery website there you can have a look at the blog where you can keep up to date with the latest goings on at the brewery and there's also a sort of 
open letter there that Seb's written to the fans of the brewery where he explains his brewing journey. I think he's been at it for about three years now, but as I mentioned, the brewery is just celebrating its first birthday. I think it was the sort of end of November, very early start of December, and this is 2013 if you're wondering here. But this is, this is it's only a year old, so it's a really, really new Scottish craft brewery, and they're producing some good beer already, and I think there's many good things to come from them in the future. And I'll also put the Facebook link in the video description for you, actually, so you can get some really up-to-date information from the brewery there. But to list the other beers that the brewery do for you here, there's the Randolph Sleep Lager. As I say, I've reviewed these other ones for you all before, but this is named after the Gorge on the River Fintorn. This is a really nice sort of citrusy craft ale take on a lager there. There's the Bo There's this one is the Bofiddle Blonde, which as I mentioned is the newest beer in the range of bottled beers, but there is a stout to follow. There's also the Bottle Nose Bitter. That's a really nice sort of English real ale take, that one. This is named after the Dolphin Colony, which you can find off the Speyside Coast there. And there's also the Mori IPA, which was I believe was my last review before this one and that was quite a nice sort of English real ale take as well which is a sort of English pale ale style quite an interesting one there as well so go and check out my other video reviews of those if you are interested and of course there's more information on the brewery website but they will launch a stout beer in the next couple of months I'm told and I look forward to reviewing that for you there as well but let's get on to the tasting of this beer itself now this is a 3.8% golden ale or blonde ale, however you want to describe it. And the beer is named after the iconic bow fiddle rock at Port Naughty on the Moray Firth that is shaped like a fiddler's elbow. And this has resulted from the waves eroding the rocks on the coastline there. But the rock is well as a well-known gull colony and for generations it's been a rite of passage as a young boy to leap the chasm from the shore to the rock and search for gull's eggs. Nowadays the RSPB, the birdie police if you like, would actually go and give you a row for that. Seagulls apparently are an endangered species are a protected species but in my opinion they're vermin you should shoot them in my opinion but I, I can't stand them really annoys me but let's just have a little read of the uh, product description here as I mentioned the iconic, the iconic bow fiddle rock at Port Naughty on the Moray Firth is shaped like a fiddler's elbow, resulting from wave action wearing away at the coast. Gulls have always nested on the rock and for generations it was a rite of passage in spring for young boys to leap the chasm from the shore to bow fiddle rock to search for gull eggs. Bow fiddle blonde is a flavour of that golden age, delicious, aromatic and full of promise. And just to let you have a little look at the bottle art here, I'll just bring the camera up and make sure you're seeing that. All the beers have a similar sort of design. I really like it actually. It's a nice sort of crumpled papery design as well with some nice it's sort of like handwritten as well and their websites in the same style but each of the different beers have a sort of different colored thing here you can see this one's green but the other ones are all different colors as well you just have a plain bottle cap on this one it would be quite cool to see them sort of do this thing here and as you can see there's the dolphins that make up the s as well as i mentioned the uh, the bottle nose bitter is named after the dolphin colony in spaceside and seb quite likes to do this he likes to help promote spaceside in this region and part of his both at all he's uh, sorry not his bowfiddle blonde, the bottle nose bitter. He donates part of that to the conservation efforts that go on to help the dolphins here. But it has a little description of the company on the side as well. Their trademark slogan is against the grain. And it says here, against the grain will mean something different for everyone. For me, it symbolises everything that Speyside Craft Brewery stands for. After studying chemistry at Aberdeen University, my expected path was into industry. Instead, I followed my passion. I came home to Speyside in Moray, malt, malt, uh, malt whiskey country, sorry, and set to create the finest craft beer as I could. I sincerely hope you'll enjoy my beer. And as you can see, he's got his signature there as well. I think that's a really nice touch to these brewery, uh, to these beers as well. It gives it a nice sort of personal feel if you like. But without further ado, let's get on and get this guy out and have a go with the tasting here. As I mentioned, this is a 3.8% golden ale or blonde ale, however you want to describe it here. And I've tried this one with Seb before actually. He came uh, when he came to visit me, he brought one of each one of these for each of us to have a drink of and we sat and had a beer and chatted about the brewery and stuff. And I really liked this one when I tried it before. So I'm quite interested to actually think about it a bit more and do the review for you here. So let's just get this guy out. I'll sugar up the last little bit here. Try and get a little bit more head on this one. As you can see there, there's a nice sort of maybe half finger to a finger of head there. Really nice looking beer this one. I'll just check that the camera, you can still see the bottle there. I like to keep this positioned if you like, but here we go. Now as you can see, a lot of bubbles in here. It's a really nice sort of pale golden colour. It's a maybe a sort of dirty blonde straw colour. Maybe that's a good way to describe it. I'll bring the light over to make sure you're seeing that quite well. But as you can see, a nice sort of deep golden straw colour here. Maybe a dirty blonde colour actually, as I would like to describe it. But it's as, as you can see, a little half finger of head, quite foamy, some bigger bubbles in there, but a lot of bubbles sticking to the side of the glass here. I'm expecting this one to be, if I 
remember rightly, it was quite a smooth beer, so this is what you tend to get from bigger bubbles, in my experience. But let's get a little look at the aroma of this guy as well here. But yeah, there's a good bit of sort of citrusy grassiness in there, some sort of citrusy lemon flavours coming up, or aromas, sorry, coming up at the start here. But yeah, a good bit of sort of floral and particularly grassy character in there as well. But there's a nice, I think there's a nice sort of underlying doughy and bready thing to it as well, but a really nice sort of zesty, citrusy, grassy element is what's jumping out at you with the aroma here. But I think definitely some sort of bready and doughy character under there as well. But let's give this guy a taste. Yeah, this is nice one. I remember it like this being a really nice beer. But the taste definitely follow, follows the aroma. There's some nice citrusy character, a lot of uh, more of a floral character than a grassy sort of note in my in my opinion. As the aroma was kind of alluding to, thinking it was uh, making it appear more grassy, but I think it's more of a sort of florally aromatic taste that this one has. But yeah, there's a nice sort of zesty and floral a. Uh, sweetness coming in there at the start if you like you're getting the sort of citrus notes in there as well and this is giving way to the sort of more malty flavours if you like but yeah there's a nice sort of bready and doughy flavour in there and there's I think there's a little bit of caramel mixed into that as well maybe just a little hint of toasted character within that malty uh, backbone there if you like as I say, this is quite an interesting one. To me, this is another sort of, it's it's another sort of, it has the feel of a sort of ringly, English real ale to it. It's another quite interesting one, but this is probably one of my favourite ones, actually, that the Space Side Craft Brewery does. A really nice blonde beer, in my opinion, but yeah, the taste of this one definitely follows the aroma. There's some nice sort of citrusy and floral character coming in at the start, and this gives way to more of the malt flavours, and this is where you're getting a nice sort of bready and doughy flavour in there, with just a little hint of caramel sweetness as well. And you're getting a sort of dry and citrusy hoppy bitter finish there. The hops are sort of coming in at the start, letting it fade to the sort of bready and doughy flavours from the malt backbone. Then the hops come in again and just give it that sort of zesty little bitterness. And you've got a little bit of dry character to that as well. In terms of the mouthfeel, this one's very light bodied in my opinion. actually got a nice little bit of an oily mouthfeel to this. As I've mentioned in numerous beer reviews before, I really like having you have a little bit of an oily mouthfeel to it. I don't know what it is, it's just my personal preference. Some people will like it, some people don't, but I think I really like the little oily mouthfeel that this one has. It's quite a moderate carbonation actually, it comes in and then smooths out as I expected it to. But yeah, a very smooth beer actually. Light to very light bodied with a nice oily mouthfeel, definitely a sort of moderate carbonation that smooths out and it's just slightly dry on the finish as I was mentioning and you have that nice sort of light hoppy citrusy dry finish to it but really this is another really nice beer it, to me it strikes me as a sort of English real ale style beer if you like but it's another good beer from the Speyside Craft Brewery to be honest if I this is probably one of my favourite ones that they've actually done so far. I would, re I really like this one and the Randolph Sleep Lager as well. The other beers are all good, but my personal picks from this brewery would probably be the Bowfiddle Blonde and the Randolph Sleep Lager. But they're all very good beers, and as I've said in numerous beer reviews before, beer's always subjective. You know, people prefer different styles. You're pro you'll probably pick up different flavours in this beer from me. Of course, it's a really subjective thing, and that's what makes beer really cool. It's always interesting to talk to other beer geeks about that. But yeah, this is another really nice beer from the Space Side Craft. Brewery. I've really enjoyed doing my four reviews so far so hopefully I can get the stout for you when it comes out in the bottle in the near future and review that for you and a big thanks again to Seb for donating these beers to me to review for you but I hope you found this beer review informative if you haven't already go and check out the Speyside Craft Brewery as I say I really like the beer that they're producing here particularly this one and the Randolph Sleep Lager but thanks again for watching my beer reviews if you've tried this beer before yourself please let me know in the comment section your own thoughts on it always interested to hear that if you haven't already subscribed please consider it a lot more Scottish beers to come hopefully more from the Speyside Craft Brewery as well and I'm, I'm sure there will be Seb seems quite uh, keen to produce a lot more beer but thanks again for watching my beer reviews I'll catch you soon with another one a lot more Scottish beer to come as I say as well as some other random ones as well but thanks again for watching and I shall catch you soon cheers <laughs>